So we're gathered in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And our So, good morning. Good morning, Father. So, the, uh, so today is uh, Thursday of the uh, 32nd week. And uh, so we're praying uh, for Sister Sheila this morning, who's gone back to Ireland. And uh, we uh, pray that you won't find it too cold there. And, uh, <laughs> and that she uh, settles in quickly. So, and let us uh, ask the Lord to listen to all our prayers today. When we see the poor being taken advantage of, the weak oppressed, and the marginalized dismissed and forgotten, and we choose to do nothing about it, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. When we allow our addictions to technology to keep us away from others, stealing time away from our families and loved ones, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. When our self-importance blinds us to the needs of those suffering around us, in our families and in our communities, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep us all keep us all adversary, so that, unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love, because the hearts of the holy ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as I am Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child Onis Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel, but I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced, but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. And if he has done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this in my own hand. I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self? Yes, brother. May I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The word of the Lord. Be the response, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. Alleluia. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, Look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The, day will, the days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off and do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and the lights and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the year 999-999 AD was uh, an interesting year because uh, people were fully convinced that the Lord was going to come in the year 1000. <laughs> and uh, the, a lot of farmers were so convinced they never ploughed uh, the land or sowed anything and uh, they saw the Lord in the year 1000 because they died of starvation <laughs> so, and so all sorts of people uh, come up with uh, uh, prophecies that the world is going to end now and I remember being on the school bus uh, one time we were coming back from uh, games and um, so the, uh, and somebody predicted that the world was going to end at this time. And we all had, on the bus, we all had a big countdown, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and then nothing happened. <laughs> so the, um, and so uh, people are always looking uh, for signs, uh, and they see things happening, and say, oh, the end is coming, the end is coming. But Jesus said, it's going to be like a flash of lightning. You're not even going to know, you know, it's going to be so quick. And uh, he also tells us in another gospel that even the sun doesn't know. So if the Son of God doesn't know when that day is going to be, you know, how is anyone else ever going to know? So the, uh, uh, so, uh, you know, the, um, so nobody is going to know. And what he's telling them is, he says, you're blind because you've got fixed ideas about who the Messiah is. They were looking for a warrior, the, uh, a warrior Messiah. And Jesus said, well, look at what's happening in my ministry, and you will see the signs of the kingdom there. The kingdom is already here. It's already begun. And so, the, uh, and so not to have too many pre-fixed uh, ideas about God. And that's one of the things that can really hinder us is having two fixed ideas about God because we cannot put God in a little pigeonhole. He can't fit in. He's too big. Mm -hmm. And so, and our ideas are never, uh, we've got inf uh, uh, finite minds and we can never fit the infinite into our finite minds. And so, and God is always surprising us. Uh, Jerry Hughes uh, wrote that book, uh, was very popular at one time, the God of surprises. And God is always, always surprising us in what he does and how he does things. And so Jesus surprised the Pharisees. Here he is, the Messiah, but they can't see it because, you know, uh, he's going to be another David and, uh, you know, with a great uh, warrior and that. And so it's a good warning to us that um, all is leave our ideas open because if we have two fixed ideas of how God is and operates we're not going to see him in our lives or see him operating around us so we we have to uh, open ourselves to uh, to ask the Lord to show us through the eyes of faith where God is working in our world The response is, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. 
We pray that the Lord would open our eyes so that we can see the signs of his kingdom that surrounds us. We pray. Lord, hear us. Let us ask the Lord to send us the grace necessary to keep ourselves ready for the day of the Lord. We pray. Lord, Lord hear us. We pray for the unity in the church. We pray that the Eastern Rite and the Latin West will work for the unity that St. Joseph had desired and gave his life for. We pray. Lord, Lord hear us. us. We pray for those who have been forced into slavery today, especially child soldiers, bonded laborers, those forced into prostitution and organ harvesting. We pray that the like that like the slave trade of the 19th century, this evil too will be eliminated. We pray. Lord, hear us. We pray for employers that they will respect those who work for them, pay just wages, and provide safe working conditions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear us. us. And let us make our own special prayer now to the Lord. And let us continue to uh, remember our own family and friends who have gone to the Lord and the members of our communities. It, as we say, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls, the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth is given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God, forever. And let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the of his holy And let us pray. Look with favour, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating the mystery of the passion of your Son, we may honour it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And let us lift up our heart. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as mediator and he has spoken your words to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son you gather men and women whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of the cross and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the angels we proclaim your glory as in joy and celebration we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy and to be glorified O god who loves the human race and who always walks with us on the journey of life blessed indeed is your son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day he was to suffer, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Give the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, to be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look at favour on the oblation of your church in which you so forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and conform us in the bond of communion, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the bishops, priests, deacons, and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the time by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way to the Kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Admit them to rejoice into the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her husband, Saint Joseph, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints. We shall praise you and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every Amen. fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties, awaiting joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And peace, peace, peace. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
And let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entrusted through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So uh, Pat and Michael, they're uh, sitting there watching uh, the sun go down and they're speculating on different things. And so a uh, question comes up. He said, uh, Mick, he says, I wonder is there golf in heaven? And uh, so they're kind of debating about it. And uh, so anyway, they make an agreement. They said, if one of us dies, whoever dies first, come back and tell the other one. And so they shake hands on it. And lo and behold, a couple of days later, uh, Mick dies. <laughs> and Pat's sitting on the bench looking out over another sunset uh, alone. And uh, he hears this voice, Pat, Pat. He says, is that you, Mick? He says, yes. He says, is there golf in heaven? He says, well, I've got good news and bad news. He says, what's the good news? He says, there's golf in heaven. He says, well, if that's the good news, what can be the bad news? You tee off at 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so, let us ask the Lord to bless us now, be with us, and to be especially mindful of our families and friends. The Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.